this is a must have when you're towing, especially heavy. and we will be right back. All right guys, today we are going to talk about our truck and how we outfitted it to tow our trailer. A little bit about our truck, it is a 2012 F-150. It has the 5.0 liter V8. It's a four x four and it has three 55 gears in the back. It does not have the tow package, so we had to do a little extra things just to get it ready to tow, but it's really minimal things that we had to do and it's just a handful of things that didn't cost a lot of money. The truck has 210,000 miles on it. We have not had really any issues at all with the truck. Right now we're chasing down an oil leak, which I think is just a sensor, but overall like little things like brakes, rotors, tires, oil changes, battery, we replaced the battery. But other than that, it's been an awesome truck. We love it. But that being said, let's show you guys some of the things that we had to do to the truck to get it ready to tow. So one of the first things that you want to make sure you have when you're towing heavy is a transmission cooler. Uh, because we did not have the tow package, ours did not come with, come with one at all. And it's actually really simple. We bought some a standard transmission cooler from Amazon some transmission hose and some fittings from Home Depot. So as you can see here, here's our transmission cooler. Um, like I said, it's just a standard transmission cooler. We drilled it to the, uh, the stump frame here and uh, just made this little angle bracket with a piece of metal we had laying around and put it on an existing mounting point. Before having this, we've towed once without this and the transmission temperatures got up to like 225 degrees. Um, and that was just towing on flat uh, about an hour and after installing this uh, temperatures have not raised more than 210 degrees Fahrenheit yeah that's pulling through the mountains and everything so this has done an awesome job that is definitely one of the biggest things without this we might have overheated our transmission already like this is a must have when you're towing especially heavy so another item that we uh, used to tow with and to monitor all the temperatures uh, when towing because you're putting excessive loads on the engine, the transmission, uh, essentially every component of the truck. You want to be able to monitor closely all the temperatures. So either if that's with a tuner or we went the cheap way and got a OBD2 Bluetooth monitor. So this plugs into your OBD2 plug. Um, and it's a simple little device. I do not recommend this brand though because this is the second one that we're going on. They both have stopped working. Um, so we've had to pick up another one, but they're super cheap. I think they're like 20 to $50 depending on the brand that you get. Uh, we use an app called Torque. It essentially tells you everything that the ECU can read. You can uh, monitor it on this app. The app costs, I think, $10. So all together, you're about $30 in. Uh, it's a peace of mind when towing because you don't want your temperatures to reach, you know, above, above a certain level. You're going to blow head gaskets, you're going to overheat the engine or uh, the transmission. And heat is the main killer of any engine component. So you want to keep all the temperatures within optimal operating temperatures. So another thing that you must have when towing a trailer is a brake controller. Uh, because we didn't have the tow package, it did not come installed with one. So we bought an aftermarket one. It's Tecancha, 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 Tecancha. <laughs> so we bought the Tecancha P3 brake controller and it's one of the higher end models and it's only $130. But it has all these extra features with the LED screen. It's a really nice brake controller and we've had no issues with it. Um, installing is really easy. It took us, it took me myself um, a few hours to install. You can definitely get cheaper ones. There's like $20 brake controllers. But I, I recommend this brake controller, it's been awesome. Moving to the back of the truck and to go along with the brake controller, if your truck does not come equipped with a brake controller connection, then you're gonna need to install it. My truck did not, so we had to install this separately. 
Uh, we bought this module on e-trailer.com. E You'll see that most trucks are equipped with the four prong connector and that's just to run the lights. To run your trailer brakes, you need this type of connection. So if you do not see this type of connection on your truck, you will need to install it. So another thing that I had to install because our truck did not come with the tow package is a trailer hitch. But this is rated to 6,000 pounds um, gross trailer weight without a weight distribution hitch, which we'll talk about next. Rated for 12,000 pounds with a weight distribution hitch. With a weight distribution hitch, this does the job and it does it good. So one of the last things that, that we had to equip our truck with is a good weight distribution hitch. This is by Kurt. Uh, this is rated up to 10,000 pounds. It's a short arm weight distribution kit. Another thing that attaches to this is the sway bar. The sway bar attaches here to the trailer and essentially it's just a brake so it won't allow for any sudden movements. A good weight distribution hitch is a must. This is just a little suggestion. Um, I would definitely get a locking pin for your hitch. These are not cheap um, and they get stolen all the time. Uh, working at, as a camp host, we've had a lot of people say they've stolen the hitch off the back of people's car at night. So this keeps people from um, taking what's not theirs. So uh, definitely a little, um, a little tip that we highly recommend. Another must have is a good set of E-rated tires. E-rated tires are rated for towing. Um, they're gonna have more plies on the sidewall, so the sidewalls are gonna be much thicker. And like I said, they're made for towing, and uh, you don't wanna be towing on anything other than E-rated tires at least e-rated tires so guys i hope that helps you out um i hope that shows you that you really don't need a big diesel truck and every possible tow equipment accessory available to hit the road and start your adventures traveling full time we've been going on eight months we've traveled thousands of miles and we have had no issues with our truck so yeah words of encouragement just do your research and uh, take the first steps to start your journey. And guys, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. The puppies are gonna go for a little ride. Oh, Rusty wants to come with you. You wanna go bye-bye to Sony? Yeah. Let's go bye-bye.